Welcome to part 5 of Modular Environment Design in Blender for Game Engines. This course is easy to follow and even though I'm using Hardops and Box Cutter, you should be fine in Vanilla Blender if you know the basic tools. Now if you don't know the basic tools, I would highly recommend our free course for beginners called Jumpstart Hard Surface in Blender. It will get you up to speed in a matter of days, saving you a lot of time and frustration. The link is in the description, like I said, the course is free. Now if you get stuck during any of these courses, feel free to join our discord channel with almost 4,000 people over there and a help section so you should never get stuck again link is down below enjoy hey guys welcome to the next part and in this one we're gonna tackle the door now first of all the door is a bit too thick we're probably gonna make it a bit thinner because if it's glass you know there's no way we're gonna be moving so much glass so we could technically kind of scale it in so you know uh, on y axis holding control that is that's number one two we could grab this frame here and apply the modifier so operation is multiply and now you see that we have these ugly connections so we need to fix that and the way to fix that is going to be grab both go to local mode side view and simply um, either cut it or let me see, where's the origin point here? It's one. Shift S, origin to geo, that's gonna reset. Go here in Alt X and mirror to the other side, so symmetry. I got new uh, box cutters I can show you now, and hard up. So if you um, wanna symmetrize it with hard ups, Alt X, go here and symmetry, same thing, okay? Mesh Machine is faster because you go to edit mode and Alt X and you have this gizmo. And it shows you which way it's going to symmetrize, you see, boom, right? So it symmetrizes from left to right. So we can remove, you know, we can remove these bollocks, okay? Because that's just junk, uh, these edges here. Same on the other side and here. And what we can do now, we can actually, you know, um, we can create a, a bit of a chamfer here. So it's going to look better. So control B and chamfer this, like that, perfect. Then we're going to select everything and remove the sharp edges. So in edit mode. Then we're going to bevel this, scroll down to one segment and make it supple but not crazy. And wait the normals. Okay, now let's increase a bit this bevel here. So there we go. See, that's a nice doorway. Cool. So now, in addition to all this, we're gonna make it even thinner. So we're gonna create a frame, right? So, hi guys, are you here? This is a video recorded after uh, this bit, after I finished recording all the videos. And I was editing the video you're watching right now, and I realized it was just a bit too complicated, uh, the way I created this door. And there's a much easier way to do it, so I wanna show you right now, okay? You still would need to go through this, you know, uh, this bit here when you fix these edges and you create this chamfer, etc. But I wanna show you how to do this glass thing in the middle. So very simply, apply, uh, smart apply to apply the modifiers, okay? Then uh, we need to um, grab these two faces, all right? And we can inset them, all right, a little bit, okay, like this. And E, cancel with right mouse button, Alt S, and move your mouse outside to create uh, this kind of a shape, okay? Then we're gonna grab everything, all right? And we're gonna scale it. So S, uh, S Y, and scale it on you know why actually so the door is a bit a bit narrower then all we need to do is grab this one press p and selection right so select it to its own selection uh cut it to its own selection and then grab this glass and select these two okay so these two and remove vertices and simply combine uh, these bits together okay so press f hold it until it goes around perfect now Let's grab this one and the seal around it. So let's grab the seal here and let me see that. Not this one, the one outside. That's the one. And let's, you know, let's close it too, right? So we're gonna close this here. So close this off, right? Um, it's the same way, guys. So F and then, you know, select it and go around. We don't need this bit, by the way, okay? So we can remove it because you will not need it later on. So just remove faces. And what we need to do now is Ctrl R here in the middle and Ctrl R here in the middle. Select them both, right? And V to split them, okay? Just make sure you're not gonna move them, okay? 
these two bits are separate. So click here and hover, press L, P, selection, right? Press L, hovering over P, selection. And now we got two bits, you know, separated. So now go to edit mode, go to occlude, and then B, select this and GX, and move it a little bit here. And here the same thing, B, GX, move it a bit here, okay? And you got two separate parts together with the door much easier and you know no pain now the door itself uh, the way i showed you to cut it doesn't change anything it's the same thing i just wanted to show you how to very easily uh, fix this uh, this seal around the door uh, i'm gonna remove the part that i was you know actually doing it in the original video because it was way too complicated i simply had an idea and then i kind of you know changed my mind and i was just it it was just too much too many steps for no good reason so I just do that and you're gonna be fine okay meaning i need to grab this glass and go here and slice it box cutter and angle uh here 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 so let's press shift v and view and then one more time and then press x and b actually for bevels like that and boom and you see that sometimes the bevel doesn't really work which is kind of funny it doesn't work on laser cut i don't know why there's a bug or something but probably gonna get fixed in the next version anyway i'll show you the walk around b bevel x click and then do something like this and click and boom you got yourself a bevel now what we could do is um frame this door from the bottom so we could grab the doorway itself and drop a loop in the middle, okay? Then Ctrl B and split it until we're gonna see that. So somewhere here, select this bit, right? And, and uh, let me see that. Uh, create a loop in here. It's gonna be also great for trim sheets, guys. Another loop in here. Okay, select this in face mode. So like this in face mode, right? And I'll do a macro and move them inside, okay, like this. Create kind of like a framing, you see, around this uh, ledge here, which is kind of cool. Now, with this, actually, this could be a bit deeper, okay? So I'll do a macro and, you know, something like this. Boom. All right, awesome. So there's a framing for the door. That looks much better, see, now, it's a clear d division between the doors and this this uh, frame piece is going to move with the door uh, to the sides so that makes sense right which is cool they're gonna be basically going inside of the wall uh, we could actually make this one a bit deeper so like these two on both sides one more time and alt the macro and move them a little bit deeper you know deeper here so the framing is a little bit more aggressive and I think it's going to look a little bit better, uh, maybe. And then we need to have some kind of like a, a podest going towards, um, you know, the, the door from both sides, basically. So we're going to have, um, you know, some kind of a edge here on the bottom. So let's go to side view. And we can cut this here. So we could cut it in here like this with knife okay and we could extract you know this kind of a bit on both sides so i can symmetrize it on both sides and uh, we could create kind of a you know this kind of a situation here create i don't know six segments this is enough and boom and then we're going to select this vert okay shift s and two vert and we're going to rotate it on the cursor so switch pivot to cursor okay and rx and we're gonna rotate the whole thing down you see create kind of like a skewed um, sort of a walkway right and we can mirror to the other side and now you get this kind of a you know positive going on then over the door um, which is kind of cool right and this could be our doorway. Uh, let's turn on the cavity so you can see a bit better. Uh, that's better. Now this could be a bit more, uh, you know, more interesting here. 
a bit more intricate uh, we could create some kind of interest in the middle as well maybe some kind of a lock here or some kind of a touchpad um, this is not a bad idea actually so I could just grab a, a cube and make it smaller and bring it up and we could scale it on Y axis right scale it and bring it up and bring it in so bring it in here like that and then let's see that some of it somewhere here and let's uh change to individual regions as z and we you know we need to follow the uh, the theme so apply scale and then alt control click here and you know create supple sort of a situation and bring it in let's sharpen this and apply uh, weighted normals then we could have a keypad on this side that you just simply touch on and the door opens so there you go this would be your door and then we can have some elements around the door that's going to frame it uh, from both sides somewhere here kind of like panels and something on the top as well we could um, uh, one more time grab uh, grab this to local and slice it from the top like this and grab these two pieces and extrude them and you know we could have a sort of a chamfer here above the door um, and create some kind of an aircon unit some, somewhere here or something you know so this already in itself looks quite interesting so we could have this kind of a situation going on and it's going to correspond with the top kind of like a panel going around here so this could be also chamfered or even you know maybe um, beveled copy to the other side and you got this kind of a situation looks really cool um i really like this and uh yeah this will this will do that's nice and then like i said we're gonna have some kind of like a um plating going um, or like a framing going around here on the top and the bottom so there's gonna add some additional interest to to this doorway in addition to all this this doorway could be uh, thicker so what we could do is sx uh, sorry sy and literally scale it out like this right on on this axis so sy and scale it out a little bit like that and you know mirror mirror it to the other side like that okay so it's on both sides right and it kind of sticks out uh from you know from the wall so there you go there will be a doorway and we can grab this piece and uh, simply use it as as a doorway that's gonna be uh, copied all over the place now you see that z fighting here in the middle all you need to do is scale it a little bit so grab the door and shift s to geo shift s well shift s to geo grab them both okay and scale it just a teensy weensy bit i mean like really you know hold shift and just a little bit so the z fighting is going to disappear okay you can scale it a bit more but don't overdo it because you know uh if you overdo it you're gonna be um you know the door's gonna have too many gaps but you see it looks a bit more natural because the z fighting has disappeared okay the door could be thinner if you wanted to so if you wanted to thin it out you could always you know s uh, s s y and thin it out so the door could be the door itself could be thinner like this so it's gonna be still kind of like a ra rail to you know for the door to go on top of it and you know create this and boom you know and now you got a really nice framing for this door you can see ceiling uh, you know seals and all that going on and it's pretty cool um i think it's really really nice and you know this entire part okay moves on its own right so to both sides so i think it looks really nice and like i said you can keep adding to it but um you know don't overdo it and also it's important to uh, run these quad strips you know because they're gonna help especially if you want to use a decal machine they're gonna help you with trimming this because you're gonna trims all around here adding really fantastic the de uh, details all around here on the bottom as well okay okay awesome so now this door is gonna be copied um um to 
the other places so let me just um, uh, grab an empty here so let's just pop an empty uh, in the middle here so shift a and empty all right so now let's make sure that everything is selected and also this empty would be better if it was in the middle of um, of the structure so immediate actually shift g immediate children and select the empty one more time there we go and shift the x and you know move it somewhere here and let's just grab this and let me see if everything is selected i think not i think the um the seal is missing so let's see that so Control p and transform so if you're gonna move this one with the frame it's gonna move together right so see what i mean like this right inside of the of the wall shift g immediate children select this one again and let's move it here shift the x and move it in here so this is gonna be our you know our doorway basically okay so you know this is gonna be our um our, our door we're gonna be copying around right so um it fits the wall perfectly so let's just snap it in here okay cool so now we're gonna duplicate that so you know shift d and move it somewhere here and what we're gonna do is rotate it and by the empty and move it to the position so g like that boom sorted then shift g immediate children and um, shift d and move it in here and select the empty and you know just snap it and pg so now we got doors uh, sorted okay which looks pretty cool so now the next video we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna design this, this elevation here and possibly um, the elements going around the structure and then we're gonna talk about the ceiling and the panels here because we still have a few things to take care of. Alright guys, well thanks for watching and see you soon.